we'll leave first thing tomorrow. Are you ready? Let me know when you're ready. Did you forget anything? I'm okay. Okay, slip well. I'm so very tired. Confirmed. Is their base all right? That rock was easy to break through. I thought it would be a little harder. These surface-dwelling lambs sure live in a nice place. Look at that. They built this place far better than the facilities at Bledivik. It's probably a hidden fort built when their old king was still around. Who cares? Let's just get this over and done with. So, where are the gears? Over here? To the right, there's a hangar! Found them. These are deer mods. They're standard pirate gears. Ha! Ignore those. We can take them out fast. Why not take a few? Even if we only get those, it was worth sneaking in. Alright. Spariel is now in the place at the back. Get ready to take out anything that gets in our way. Prep complete. Okay, over here. Anytime is fine. Go! What was that crash? Gears have entered the Yggdrasil dock! Five Kevlar Special Force gears and one large unidentified large gear. All pilots report to the gear anger. Very well, welcome back to Lux Plague Center gears. Apparently, during the night, someone bust into the base. Almost all the gear are under repair. What about the. you? Huh, what? I thought you were saying something funny. Damn it, Kevlar! This is no time for sleeping! What is it? What? I don't know, man. All hell seems to be break loose. What about you guys? There's no time for games. Has the base been found? Well, we, we, as I just teleported up there. Hey, what about you? Oh my god, we're being found! They must have followed us from the cavern. We screwed up. Well, I gotta find a place to hide then. You know, I'm not really. What about you? You seem pretty, tra pretty calm. I thought it was our snoring. <laughs> really? All right then. Better get out of here then. This place doesn't seem secure. Maybe I should just up and leave. The shark destroyed this road. Really? Damn it! I've got to find a place to hide! Escape Route 4 is for civilians. All civilians in the dock area take refuge in the Yggdrasil. We have an unidentified E3 reading in the ventilation shaft. Their gears! Gate 3 has been destroyed! Gears have been lost! Operational Gear 5 in Service 1! Guest 1! Main power source cut! Switch to backup! All pilots report immediately to the gear dock. I'm not a pilot, guys. I mean, I am, but you know, I like the pilot gears. That was would have been that was going on in Fang's mind, probably. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting here. What about here? I've got to admit, I haven't seen all of these dialogues at this point in the game. This is 
point where there are some dialogues that I never saw. The enemy is coming. This place is impregnable. Don't you don't have to worry. What do you want? Nothing. Thank you. I'm good. Yeah, it's best if I take refuge. But I don't know where. What? Don't get all excited. This is bad. Yeah, you can say that out loud, man. Fade here. Did you see a little boy and girl? I wonder <coughs> where they went. Granny, I'm scared. Ah, uh, you're looking for the boys who went down to clean the gears. Unfortunately, I think they're still there. If this sh ke shaky keeps up, our precious model will. Okay, fine. I know what to do. I'm a civilian. I must take refuge in the Brazil, like all other civilians are doing. Even though most of them are just running around doing nothing. Let's take refuge in the Brazil. Seems pretty logical thing to do. All non combatants to the Brazil immediately. Well, I'm scared. That includes me, right? Let's go to the Brazil. Fight! Fight, quick! Get to Weltel now! Fight! Bart and the others are already fighting! Aren't you going to do anything? Do you still think it has nothing to do with you? I... I... What am I? That old man, he called me the Slayer of God. I don't want that kind of power. My strength. My home. How many gears are there? I think I took out most of the small fry, but... There are at least four, maybe five of them left. Their performance and technique is far greater than any of the ones we faced before. Damn it. Young Master, they're approaching! And willingly or not, we have to fight these guys, and now we have Bart and two officers. We get to control them as well. Unfortunately, the officers suck. So, yeah, but, but that actually is good. Because we have to waste less fuel on this guy. Okay, starting off, as usual, we're Bart, so Wild Smile. Okay, these guys cannot boost, they can charge and attack. And they don't have any death flows. So all you wanna do when controlling these guys is just mash circle. Do 30 fuel attacks every time. You only get to use them in this battle, so go all out. Bam. Your turn? Well, no problem, as long as you eat my dudes there. I'm fine. You don't have to eat Bart, though. We'll have to use Bart in later battles, so we better try to... Keep him as much health as possible. And waste as less fuel as possible. Bam! I kinda want to show you what all their attacks these guys can do. But seriously, I don't think it's worth it. We have to keep our fuel. And he's done! Bar levels up. We get nothing. Mazon, does this gear work? Pardon? Yes, it works, but all right. Out of the question. It is still under maintenance. It's nowhere near operational. It's the right, Mazon. Master Sigurd. But for a gent like that good doctor, it's fine. He'll be okay. It may not even be enough for him. Master Sigurd?
Well, it has been five years since I last fought. I hope I can still remember. Oh, a wild stallion, eh? Well then, it is high time someone broke you in. Here! Reinforcements? Hey, that hurts! Compared to the pain my friends are going through, yours is nothing. I cannot allow people like you to persist in tormenting those who cannot fight back. I will take you on in their place, come on! What are you talking about? Okay, we have to fight this guy. We have Stan in our gear finally. Um, of either machine, we, of, yeah, of either machine, I mean, oh, well, we have the same deal we have on foot. Sanazami and Ranky, except this time Sanazami restores gear defense, doesn't heal, and Ranky does the same thing. It doesn't put next either effect on. Anyway, I don't think I want a booster on this guy. What I just want to do, I think it was just gonna go on 30 fuel attacks. Boom! Oh, oh he protected. Okay, fine. He blocked it. Aegis Knight is a pain in the ass. What he does all, often is this. He provokes the defense down stat, which unfortunately stacks with time. So, whenever he does that, I have to send a time and remove it, otherwise I'll take heck of all the damage every time he attacks me. Thank god sometimes he wastes his turn like that. Attack level 1, let's do a Kensui. Let's to waste a little less fuel. Bang! And start turn again? No, it's not. Uh, what he does is basic physical. Okay, 27 damage. 56, it's okay. He probably have done more than twice with the defense down stat. Um, let's do a 10 attack. Boop, boop. Then we're gonna do a square triangle death blow. And I think it'll be it. Bam! Yes, that's it. He's done for it. No level up for Shitan. That's fine. I know I'm a little rusty. There's a limit to what I can learn seeing as I started so late in life. Even so, I hit that guy hard and it did not go down. They must be using that stuff. Young one, they're using Drive. They are battle enchantment drug. Normal attacks will not hurt them. Are you serious? So that's how they keep at it, huh? Crap. This will never end. Hey! It's okay. We'll get by without him. Bart and Stan this time. So now we have these two guys. Hmm, what I wanna go for with this? Let's see. I think I'm gonna go for a triangle. Damn. Eh, no. Good damage, not bad. Uh, you go one smile, of course. Uh, one smile number one, I guess. There you go. Lose some accuracy. Uh, nice camera angle over there, and these guys can shoot at you. And he did zero, so I guess it missed. <laughs> Couldn't really see that well. Um, I think I'm gonna end your suffering with a repo. These guys are not that strong. 506! Take that! How about this? Ba ah, you missed. Really? I got a turn? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm doing a 20 fuel. I think it should be enough to kill him, so I don't have to waste another wild smile. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, these guys are known for this attack. When they're left alone, they do a more powerful attack. Which missed. Nice. And so, how about a bead serpent? Alright, got some damage from Satan. That wasn't enough, wow. Another triangle will finish you. Yup. And? Okay. Ooh, we learned Zirai. Nice. Sis! Where do you think you're going? Stop it! Oh, admirable! Now what kind of sound will you make when I do this? Ah! What? Why are you fighting? You! What are you doing? What does fighting get you? 
What if this was your home? We now have five finally, and this guy is pretty easy, by the way. Nothing that complicated. I'm just gonna do for a go for a circle attack. He only does 28 damage. And I think a right Zeki will finish him. He's pretty weak. Yep, he's done. And level up, thank you. Fai! I knew it'd come around. We'll talk later. We got big trouble coming down on us now. And this is the reason why I told you to save fuel and HP. This is the boss. So now we're getting serious. So we have Shitan. Let me think about this. Do we want a booster? I don't think so. I don't need to boost her in this fight. Rather, I want to go in with the cir circle attack and do 242 damage. Fey, 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 same thing. I, I don't think he has them hit much of a choice here. Same deal, boom, bang. Okay, she parallels a bunch of attacks and that is one of it. He inflicts defense down on two gears. Pain in the ass. But thank god we have two cards that can remove it. Um, Bard was my own turn one, of course. That always helps. It will make some of the attacks of this guy miss. More often. Like this attack. Zero. Yep. Okay, we have Shitan. He has 20% harm or loss. I think we're gonna do rank him. And the next one we're gonna wipe out the armor loss status from everyone. Bard will start attacking with 30 fuel attacks. Why holding back? And she turns up next. So about Sanazami. Everyone? Get that defense back up. And he's doing this attack. You didn't even see him, but basically what he does is slams the ground with his two arms and deals damage to everyone. Can't avoid it, can't do anything, you just have to deal with it. Anyway, fast attack level 2. How about we do an attack? 641, not bad. You don't have an attack level 2, do you? I don't think so, but just to be sure. Um, You do have an attack level 2, you just learned a death blow. Right? Okay, another physical lock that will probably miss, yeah. Thank you, Wild Smile, for protecting me. Now you see what Wild Smile really is capable of. Did she down as an attack level 2 death blow? Let's see that. Not bad. Ah, he's doing that again. Uh, we have Bart. Let's do. Whoa! He's got. Blood Snake! Let's do that. Not bad. Uh, this time. Let's see. This time I think I want to use Inner Relic. I was hit by the defense down, then Shitan was also hit. He will heal himself. And he's doing this again, but lucky for me, he's, it's easy to dodge. And the Sanazami on myself. There we go, our defense is back up. Bart will do another circle. And we should almost be done with this guy. Come on. Just a little bit more punches, and he will go down. Not yet. That is the attack that, kill that damages everyone now. Okay, Bard, you do another circle. And if that doesn't kill it, the next, next card who takes a turn will kill it. Probably she down. She down. No, it's only attack level 1. Let's do a circle. That killed it, okay. Then that has a lot of experience. A level up for Fey will slur Iron Veil vale or another hey, either move. Key move actually. Even Bard levels up and learns even sand. And she down also level up. And you get a beam god, which is gonna be pretty useful as for gears. We'll wanna talk about that when we get the chance. D 
think. Thanks, Faye. Barth. Thank you, Faye. Don't know how we could have done it without you. I still don't know what I should do. Faye. What Barth's doing isn't for his own gain. He walks the path he believes in, one step at a time. Wishing only for the happiness of those around him. I, on the other hand... I thought I didn't have a path that I could take laid out before me. But like he said, that's just running away. I must find my own path, right Doc? If Bart wishes, I'll cooperate with you guys. That's all I can do now. But I think I'll find a path I should follow as I help others like you. Moreover, I can't turn my back and ignore what such a terrible group of people are doing to others. Thanks, Faye. We must infiltrate Faye and rescue Margie now. Gabler has discovered this base, so we should leave a small garrison and evacuate while we still can. Fortunately, the Igter's shield isn't damaged, so we are able to embark immediately. The crew's preparation are complete. Whenever you're ready, Master Fay and Good Doctor, please accompany the young master to the bridge. Dr. Uzuki, Master Fay, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would truly appreciate it if you would be so kind as to stay with us and help us on our rescue mission. Hey, alright, alright, let me say goodbye to the women before we go. I'm sorry, Bar, we're departing immediately. The crew's all back here, everyone is fine. You can go back and to the two shops, one on the exit drill and one up in the base, to purchase anything you might need. Let's go into the gears and go oh, for a second before ending. Um, yeah, okay. Heimdall, we haven't seen him yet. He's got two old circuits. Not bad. It reflects the tan's eye agility. Uh, the beam coat. Beam damage down 50%. You know that attack that the two guys with the guns did to Bart and Stan? The one that missed that I saw that I told, hey, that's attack that attack really is powerful, then it missed. Well that is a beam type. If you wear this, it cuts that down by a half. I mean the damage. It gets cut down by a half. It's pretty good if you know if like a boss or some gears and dungeons uh, use beams, you can wear that and reduce damage. By a half, which is pretty great. Anyway, let's talk to Sigurd. It's time to sneak into a van at last. First of all, our party should inspect the town and work out a plan of action. Currently anchored our hideout. Leave the hideout. Of course I want to leave. And we're now able to go around with the Yggdrasil. There are no random battles as long as you're in the Yggdrasil. But you can only go on sand, of course. If you try to go over to here, you won't be able to. So there are several points on the map. The one over there, I don't think I can... No, that's the biggest the map will ever be. It's the hideout over here. That's our destination. That mountain over there is the town of... we can't even see it. Well, it's Bladyavik, the royal capital of the desert. Over to this side, we have Dazel, over there in the distance, and the other point there is, of course, the Han. You can try to go over here, over to the north part, and as you can see, there is stuff. That is the war border, the Kisna border. Here's where the danger begins. The textbook is weird though. I don't see it looks kinda weird to me. Doesn't look like a usual tax box. So we can't go there. At any time you can actually exit Dick Brazil by pressing X. You'll rise up, you'll be able to get on your gear, you can go on foot. There will be random battles as long as you walk in gear or on foot, so mind that. Also, this thing. This thing is the K we for a calamity on the one we fell with Bart. I don't think there's any way you can go back in, even though it's here. I don't think even on foot you can do that. Now, fortunately, I have a broken button and I can't go out foot quickly because if you press L2 and R2 at the same time, you get off your gears. Shouldn't you have a broken button like I do? You can just go in the menu and do the same. Now, fortunately, you can't get in. It's just there for purposes. 
Let's go back into Yggdrasil. If you press triangle while in the Yggdrasil, you will go back to the bridge. So if you want to save, you first want to press X. You will get out, and then you can save. Which I, this is what I'm gonna do. And next time. On Xenogears, we're gonna enter Vladivik. Vladivik is a pretty big place. We'll have to explore it, talk with everyone. There's a lot to do. And I'd like to save on the next slot, thank you. So we'll probably dedicate one, if not two, episodes. It's really that big of a place. To see everything that there is to say. Anyway, that's done. See you guys next time.